Hi, welcome to this Intract demo. Today I'm going to show you how you can integrate your physiological data with your observations done in Intract. Now, first of all, we need to make sure that we have a data view installed. When you have a data view on your computer, you will see the symbol here on the additional tab in Intract. Now let's start data view. This takes a second. Now here's my data view window. What I'm going to do now is I open my physiological measurements. I'm going to show you here what uh, data this is. Now this is, as you can see here, top delimited data in the text format. And when I start the import here, the data view tells me this is obviously not a data view file, but a text import. So I can um, use a predefined template to import it. I don't have one. This is what I'm going to walk you through here. Now the first line contains column head information. Yes. Um, my data is, as you can see, top delimited. This file contains time information. No. At this point, I could import the data starting at a specific marker. I can, for example, select the market channel or any other column. And here I type in a one, meaning that the import starts where the value one is found in my data file. Now, the next one is I have um, to define my frames per second of the videos that I use in Intract. For me, it's 25. Maybe for you, it's 29.97. And because I don't have defined uh, a time information in my data file, Intract asks me what's the uh, timing in the data. Now I can say the time between data lines or samples is, for example, uh, let's say um, 100 milliseconds. If I uh, want to do it in samples, for example, I could say I have, for example, uh, 25 samples per second, and this will then be um, added as time information to the data that's now imported. So next, um, I need to select the decimal separator, which for US is comma and Europe is point. Now let's do this one here. Now data view is importing the data file. And we will see this immediately here. As I said, Intract added this time information, the milliseconds, based on the sampling rate that I defined. Now here are all the columns are listed here. I see the ranges and I can say, for example, I don't want to see the milliseconds as a window the EKG, for example, uh, ranges from this to that value. The acceleration X, Y, and C. I want to see them on a separate window. So I choose that I want to see those three values on the same window. My EMG value is on window 3. Heart rate frequency, I don't uh, need that right now. The breath, I don't need. Uh, I don't need this one, but the EDA value is for me very important. EDA, uh, electrodermal activity, or also known as skin conductance. When I say okay, I get those four windows. I can rearrange uh, the windows. For example, I can resize them and. Oh, sorry. 
um, can auto layout them at any time. I can go back in uh, to my settings, and then I will be able to change the windows again. So here are the windows. I can simulate it, play the data, and I can also define the amount of values I want to see in that window. If I, for example, want to see 500 versus 100, then the chart goes slower, but I have a better uh, zoom in on the data. Now those are the other values. And I can save this file, now let me stop this, I can save this file as data view file, meaning that I don't need to import it again in the future. So let me save it. Um, bio data. Then it's going to be saved as DTL file. I'll save. Now when I would close data view and restart it again, I can open this imported file just here and then voila you see everything is already on the screen without going through the import. Now let me um, use Interact and open some video files. I have prepared three files here. I'm going to select them all at once. Now here are my videos. I can play the videos. And if I now switch, now the screen is a little small here. As you can see, the videos are running in sync with the data view um, charts. You can also make um, Or you can also scroll through the data here in data view and make a double click on one of the lines here in data view and then you see data view makes the currently double click line the first one and all the videos go exactly to this time position here now in this way you can synchronize your physiological measures with interact. Now for example you see the, the skin conductance value is going up here meaning uh, the participant is um, getting kind of stressed or aroused and now I want to start my observations here. First of all I uh, open my coding scheme which um, let me use anyone here. Uh, let's keep with this one here. So I start my observation. Now I want to link the current multimedia files to the document. Yes. And I got the po I get this coding panel. I can start coding in Interact. I just do this for demo here. So okay, now I've done my codings. Blah 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 blah. I can change the time position at any point in time and so on. But this is standard coding. Uh, procedure. Um, stop. Now I have the list of events here. I make a double click and Interact will automatically replay those segments over and over again. I can make annotations here, and, but that's all um, you already know. Now as you can see, the data runs in sync with data view. I can show the statistics here. That's my coding system. And that's my timeline chart. And whenever I click in the chart, all my data sources go to this point in time. When you make a double click here, then Intact is replaying exactly that fragment. Now I want to integrate 
the coding information with my physiology data. This is pretty simple because I say I'm interested in data from here to there, for example, or any, you can select any of the events here, for example, through the search function, edit, find, all my activities, group work, for example, now five items found, there is some down here. And now I can make a right mouse click and say, copy marked data to data view. And now what you can see here in the data view file is that the data was added at those uh, measurements where the time here matches the time of one of those events. And this way you can integrate your physiological measures with your behavior codings. If I, sorry, if I select all of them and say create um, copy marked elements, I have my full observations, my observational codes added to the data file. As you can see here, and I can simply save, oops, sorry, save that file as um, CSV file. And I'm going to save it on my desktop. And that's my physio and observation. Save it. Uh, it should be somewhere here. There it is on the desktop. I just opened it in Excel and now you can see that you have, um, let me go down here where we see it, that you have integrated your physiological measures with your behavior observations. So much for now. Thanks for watching and see you soon again. Bye -bye.